Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you this super easy Insta Baddie inspired makeup look. If you want to see how I achieve this, then keep on watching. So first I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which is really going to make our eyeshadow pop and long wearing. And then setting that with my Kat Von D translucent powder to make sure that concealer stays put. First going in with this brown taupey shade and applying this on my crease area. Then I'm going to use this nice burgundy shade and applying this right on top. Next going in with this shimmery pink but it has a gold reflex to it like you can see it's really nice and just applying that on the center of my lids. For primer, like always, I'm using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer, which is my favorite. Next, I'm using the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations to use when I want my makeup to look flawless and perfect and it stays on all day. I have a video on all the foundations that I'm currently loving right now. I'll link it right above. For concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. At first, I wasn't really using this concealer because I wasn't a fan of the applicator, but recently I've been trying to use it more often just to get some use out of it, and I really like it. I really like the color of it as well. I feel like it complements my skin tone, and it blends out really nicely. To contour my face, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick in the shade Chestnut. And whenever I go out, I always use this foundation stick because it's really creamy and pigmented. Plus, it comes in a lot of shades. So if you're thinking about getting a high-end foundation stick, then I think you should get this one. Next, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Translucent Setting Powder to set all my concealed areas. At first, I was using the Makeup Revolution um, Baking Powder in the shade Banana, but I found that to be a little drying for my under eyes. So I just went back to using this setting powder, which I had for a long time, like almost a year I've had this. And it's crazy because I rarely hear things about her setting powder, but don't sleep on Kat Von D, okay? To set my entire face, I'm using the Sephora Micro Smooth Setting Powder. And I'm sorry, y'all, this powder is discontinued, but I absolutely love it. So I had to use it in this Insta Baddie makeup look. To warm up my skin, I'm using the same powder, but in the shade Deep. And also setting that cream contour that we put on earlier. This step is really important because this is going to bring the warmth and the color back to our skin and bring the whole look all together. Right here, I'm just applying the same powder on the sides of my nose to make it a little more snatched. To fill in my eyebrows, I'm using the ColourPop um, Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown and just filling in my eyebrows. I know they definitely need to be done, but this brow pencil really helps my eyebrows not look as bushy and only takes me about probably less than five minutes to do. To shape my eyebrows, I'm using the Tarte Concealer and this Morphe M432 brush to really get my eyebrows snatched and ready. This Morphe brush has really changed the way that I do my eyebrows. 
it has made it really easy and simple for me to shape them so if you're looking for a morphe brush to shape your brows then i would get this one next going in with my sephora blush in the shade hysterical and applying this on my cheeks for eyeliner, I'm using the MAC Liquid Liner in the shade Rapid Black just to hide the lash band when I apply my lashes. Here I'm applying that same burgundy shade on my bottom lash line with that Morphe flat brush. To highlight my face, I use the Morphe and Bretman Rock Baby in Paradise palette and the two shades Baby Girl and Vacation. The shade Baby Girl um, looks kind of chalky at first, but when I swatched it, it had this really nice pink reflex to it, which really went well with this makeup look, and I love it. To line my lips, I use the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Los Angeles. Next, finishing the lips off with this Fenty Gloss Balm, which I love. This is my favorite gloss at the moment. It looks good on every skin tone. To set my entire face, I'm using the MAC Fix Plus Golden Light Spray, which is amazing if you want that glowy skin look. I really recommend it. Well, you guys, that is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.